I am PJ Samuels and I agitate. I'm a poet, uh, but I'm and an activist and an agitator and an educator. And I do as much as I feel. Sometimes that's as little as possible. I'm not always sure what the scene is and um, I am not that much of a party person primarily because I don't like to be chatted up over music. I, I don't enjoy that at all. And um, it, it, it's, it's kind of stable but I really enjoy unquestionably being in company. So I find that there is quite the anti-scene scene that I am very much active in that means just as much all of those meetings in someone's front room and in the cafes and, and there are a lot of more of that happens than is necessarily public knowledge and I'm very much with that and a part of that and it supports, sustains me. I get so much from it and I give so much of my energy to it. So in that way I participate and actively. Joy and eroticism and desexualizing the black female body for others but utterly owning how sexual I am and how responsive my body is to touch whether it's my own touch or somebody else's means a lot to me and everything I do is centered in pleasure and a lot of that pleasure speaks to the erotic and I am very 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 happy to always acknowledge that yes it is very centered always it's easy for me to answer it's difficult for me to answer for other people <laughs> um, um, not because I don't I've not been told things but because I really don't care um, I, I, I find some of what I, I find, like, okay, I really like my pointless boobs. <laughs> I consider boobs really pointless because unless you're a mother, they're not actually a practical body part. But I really love mine. And I will forever, if, if I've never discussed boobs with you, we're probably not close. They come up very early in our conversations. <laughs> and uh, the other thing is less of a physical attribute it's more an attitude of ownership of i own this body and i will decide whether it's naked or clothed and i am not self-conscious or rooted in anybody else's opinion of what they find sexy about me i don't know if that's confidence but life is short and i've got only one fucking body and it's gorgeous i cannot walk around trying to decide that it doesn't wrinkle in the way that somebody else likes and that should affect what I think about that part you know my toes are a bit gingery so I shouldn't like them they walk fucking far and they're great toes and um yeah so I, I, I don't know how to give much consideration to what somebody else thinks but for me body confidence which isn't necessarily saying that I'm proud of this body, just acknowledging that it is a body and it works, it does what it's meant to and it does it fucking good, is terrifically sexy for me. And it's something that I like. Um, what I'm going to read is, is, is tied to how I feel about being black and sexual and about body ownership beyond the norms and beyond society's expectation and being able to own who I am as a black woman outside of somebody else's expectation and I think that that is fucking sexy so I am gonna read Dear Black Girls today and every day I wish you a friend who will help you fake edges who will tell you about ashy elbows and will have shea butter in her bag i wish you wigs that stay on when you twerk i wish you the courage to say fuck you and suck your mother more often than necessary 
I wish you the freedom to decide necessary. I wish you the self-knowledge to own your blackness, even when you bleach, and to own natural, however many implants you have and wherever your bundles came from. Because your self-love is wrapped up in your own standards, and your roots are your roots, but you own the right to grow in unfettered directions. Because your roots are for nourishment, your roots are not chains. Your blackness is not a costume, and you're not for show. And how you present yourself is for your own appreciation and those who think their gaze entitles them to have a say should suck their mothers. Document your life. Post your bathroom selfies. Show up for yourself and show off. I wish you love. The kind that will sustain you. The kind that will build you. The kind that will make room for your everything because everything about you is precious and your everything is lovable. Never let anyone make you think otherwise. However small you squash yourself, someone will think you're too much. Sometimes that someone will be you. Don't believe it. You're not a star. You're a whole fucking constellation. Take up all the space and shine your scripture I believe in you your everything is lovable